So, Garrett, we know that David Pecker testified today. We have now confirmed that. Tell us what you know about today's witness and what unfolded in the building behind you. Yeah, this case clearly very much not dropped, Kristen. A uh, grand jury back in session today. Hearing from David Pecker for a second time, which is very interesting. Pecker was the head of uh, AMI, the parent company of the National Enquirer, and served as its publisher. He's a key figure in all this because it was he who, along with Michael Cohen, came up with what amounted to this catch and kill plan to buy both the stories of Stormy Daniels, which Cohen ultimately completed, and Karen McDougal, a model who made similar claims. It was AMI's money, National inquirers money that ultimately paid for her silence. The fact that he was back testifying today suggests that somewhere along the line some other witness either raised questions mm. about his earlier testimony or that perhaps some element of his testimony is newly relevant or more relevant to the case that prosecutors are trying to put together. I'm not a lawyer. I can only speculate based on what we know about this case. But remember, the idea here is that to make this case into a felony you need two charges essentially. You need this idea of falsification of business records to serve some other purpose, some other criminal purpose. So could something with the McDougal payments, could something in the way that Cohen and Pecker, you know, structured their dealings be that second charge? We just don't know. But the fact that, you know, this late in the process, it's David Pecker, not any other witness who's coming back after Mr. Trump's own witness came uh, to serve as a defense witness last week um, mm. is, is surely relevant and will be more relevant, I suspect, when we see how this investigation concludes, either with the matter being dismissed or with an indictment, if and when this grand jury is asked to vote. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.